Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm here to do my top 5 books of 2014. So let's start by an honorable mention. And that goes for The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan, the fifth and final installment of the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. I like this book. I thought it was a great conclusion to a series and I really wanted to read the rest like the, the Heroes of Olympus series and I really liked this book so honorable mention to The Last Olympian. In fifth place we've got uh, the last book I read this year that is My True Love Gave to Me by a bunch of authors edited by Stephanie Perkins. I really really like this book guys. I think it's a perfect Christmas read if you like cutesy romantic contemporary books. In fourth place, we've got I've Got Your Number by Sophie Kinzella. I did a review of this that I haven't published yet. What? This book was extremely funny, touching, moving, hilarious, and just all around amazing. Super romantic as well. I really, really love Sophie Kinzella's writing, especially this book. I've Got Your Number stole my heart and it's currently my favorite chiclet. After I finished it, I just wanted to reread it. I stayed up until so late the night I read this book. And it's, yeah, it's one, it's there, it's third place, it's fourth place, definitely, if not even higher if I haven't read some other good books this year. In third place, a book that I read in May and it hasn't left my brain yet. It's still thought provoking. I loved it, so I bought the, the rest of the trilogy. And it's Across the Universe by Beth Travis. I thoroughly enjoy this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars if I'm not wrong. I love the couple, but I also love the world building, the suspense, the, the sci-fi aspect. Everything in here. It's not just dystopian. It's not YA contemporary at all. It's sci-fi for people who don't usually read sci-fi like me. So yeah, I really, really enjoyed this book. So in second place, we've got a book that is representing all the first four books I read of this series this year. I reread the first two and I read for the first time the third and the fourth book. And here we have the fourth book and that is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I loved reading Harry Potter this year. It was so enjoyable so fun, so fast-paced and adventurous and everything, everything, everything was there. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. I really, 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 really liked it. Of the four, I loved Covered of Fire more because I love knowing more about other schools and also because this book gets a lot more darker. So I really liked this book. I liked all the other three as well and I can't wait to read the in the last three, to reread the last three in 2015. So yeah, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire are my number two. And in first place, you can probably tell if you're following me long enough, but I love this book when I read it. I took so many photos of it in Instagram. I think everyone went slightly, people were slightly annoyed, annoyed by me, but oh well, my Number one book this year was Looking for Alaska by John Green. This, this book though, it stole my heart. I loved it. It was so sad and deep and profound and beautifully written. I read the 14 Hour Stars translated, so it might have stolen something from it. But this book was precious. It was beautiful. It was everything. And it's even special for it's even more special for me because I bought this in New York when I was in New York in April 2013. So yeah, it w it had to wait for me to read it, but it was worth it because I loved this book. The, the last two pages I read out loud for my father, they are beautiful. And yeah, I cannot recommend this enough. So that was my number one for this year. And this was my top five. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up or subscribe down below. All my media stuff is also in the description. I hope you like this video. I hope you see you soon with another one. Bye.